my personal opinion is that nobody needs nuclear power because of the cost and that cost is not in terms of rupees or dollars or you know yen it's the cost to the environment it is going to be very exciting to try and calculate the cost of remediation of the waste everything else is quantifiable you know, how much cement how much concrete how much mortar how much plant machinery equipment pipes tubes where the excitement will come is to calculate the cost of mitigating the radioactive fuel it is estimated you know half life when it comes to x ronjens or whatever the measurement whatever the unit of measurement is now who decided that x ronjen or x units of radioactive material is okay for the human so this will open up a whole you know wide vista of debate whether x is okay or x by 10 is okay or 5x is okay and the cost of mitigation is going to be directly proportional to what you accept that's actually a difficult question to answer because when you talk about radioactive material whether it's usable or is waste there is a hazard in terms of its radioactive capability what it does to the human body after uh, hiroshima nagasaki i assume lot of research has been done and uh, after fukushima there will be more research which will be done essentially this would have been more uh, focused and concentrated on the damage to the human body now the damage that is being done to the soil where i get my cabbage and i get my uh, cauliflower and the lamb and the cow which eats the grass which i bring on to my dining table now the impact of that radioactivity on the soil we need to study that over a long period of time to really understand what is the net net damage that has occurred mm -hmm. when you release radioactive material at say x ronjen which is what we have or the scientists have de mandated dictated to us that it is acceptable keep quiet at that x level i don't think that too many studies have been done over 50 years or 100 years to allow that radioactiveness that radioactiveness and its impact on the soil if this was a drug and they were looking for guinea pigs i think jetapur is an excellent situation you are using an untested technology at several times scaled up levels and let's say nothing happens for 10 years the technology provider takes his money and goes home and then something happens so why i said the guinea pig situation that this could happen in 10 years it may not happen in 50 years but on the 51st year if something like chernobyl or fukushima or three mile island happens what happens to the victims and we are not even allowing into this perspective what is happening continuously because of the operation of the plant day to day there is so much of output which is impacting on the ground water which is impacting on the surface water which is impacting on the ambient air and impacting on the displaced people which has already happened but all these three air water soil this damage is happening continuously on a daily basis and at the end of the 11th year or the 51st year you get something going off what happens to the technology provider nothing he's taken the money paid up all his shareholders made his buck so what is left behind again he pays 
एक्सेप्ट कर दिया ह्यूमन गिव यू अ फील बॉम्बे सिटी वी गेट थ्री थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड एम एल डी राइट बॉम्बे सिटी मे बी गिव अ टेक यू नो फ्यू पीपल वन पॉइंट फाइव करोर ओके दैट इज फिफ्टीन मिलियन पीपल वी गेट थ्री थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड एम एल डी पर दैट इज थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड मिलियन लीटर्स अ डे जेतापुर इज गोइंग टू यूज मे बी टू एंड हाफ थ्री टाइम्स दैट क्वांटम ऑफ वॉटर सो इमीडिएटली इफ आई वॉज आस्ट टू डू एन एनवायरमेंट इम्पैक्ट एनालिसिस आई वुड वरी अबाउट द वॉटर बैलेंस इफ आई एम गोन टू टेक इन एट एंड हाफ थाउजेंड एम एल डी वेर एम आई टेकिंग इट फ्रॉम एंड वेर एवर आई टेक इट फ्रॉम एम आई पुडिंग इट बैक देर टू गेट नियर जीरो वॉटर बैलेंस एंड इफ आई एम नॉट पुडिंग इट बैक देर देर आर टू थिंग्स विच आर है वन इज दैट माई वॉटर बैलेंस इज गोइंग डीप साउथ नेगेटिव एंड वेर आई एम पुटिंग दिस एट एंड हाफ थाउजेंड एम एल डी वॉट इज द इम्पैक्ट इन दैट एरिया वेर आई एम पुटिंग दिस वॉटर इट विल प्ले है You try putting a human being at uh, you know uh, 80 degrees centigrade, and he won't he won't boil like water. But it's not going to be very comfortable for him. Let's make a compromise. Let's say that you put him at 60 degrees centigrade. I don't think his level of comfort would be substantially more, because once you cross that 40 45 degrees centigrade. it doesn't matter whether your skin peels off in 5 minutes or 5 hours uh well i might uh, not be able to answer that question if you said it's a gross oversight because i suspect that there is criminal mischief mm. so if you ask me oversight i may not be able to answer address this issue at all but if you allow me to imply that there has been along with oversight there has been criminal negligence criminal mischief and mal intention then i think we have a question which can be answered and to answer this complex question is a very simple sentence that we use in india to describe us indians we are like that only this is a contractor driven you know uh what you might call a, a carrot for the public this is a contractor driven carrot which is promising the public huge amounts of power we have ample solar energy to generate electricity for half a dozen lights fans one tv in each household all over the country 6 lakh 7 lakh villages today we are generating 20 times the power that is required to keep all these households you know electrified wired up but the 19 times of that 20 19 parts out of the 20 it is being used for industry right so again we come to that old you know dilemma do we go for growth development and therefore use this energy which mandates making more energy which mandates putting dams on the rivers which mandates nuclear energy or we tune down scale down our growth plan such that it is in consonance with nature and you can use solar energy on the top of each roof you can generate 5 kilowatt 10 kilowatt there is no copper loss there is no cost of copper there is no maintenance no transmission you might be out of power for maybe a month or two depending on the monsoon and which area of the country you are right if we take away this new fangled modern approach which is power intensive then the chances are that you will not need to dam rivers the chances are that you need instead of jetapur you need not 9900 megawatts in one place but maybe 100 200 
scattered, distributed, decentralized. The moment you decentralize your power to where the users are, then you don't have copper cost, you don't have copper loss cost, you don't have all the maintenance costs. Built into the human rights is the rights of the plant kingdom, the animal kingdom, all the biodiversity, all the organisms, all those creepies and crawlies which eat the bark of the tree, keep the tree young, the tree produces oxygen and so on and so forth. It binds the soil, it delivers water into the ground, etc., etc. So right from that creepy crawly, when you have a project, you're going to be depriving all organisms across the board. So it is definitely and clearly a, a violation of human rights because net to net at the top of the chain is the human and all that below which supports him, which makes him live, which allows him to live is being disturbed, therefore he is going to be disturbed. So very clearly there is a violation of human rights. They have been traditionally for centuries used to working with mother nature, with the soil and growing, producing from the soil. So it is going to be a complete change of lifestyle and typically from my little experience I can tell you the moment you give these farmer types you know, money in hand as compensation and you take them away from what has been their traditional livelihood they tend to squander the money. It's not that they are able to invest the money wisely. Even if they invest the money wisely, what are they going to do for the children and for the coming generations? So this is an uh, intangible which is very, very, uh, I would say, uh, short of uh, impossible to compute on. My suggestion is that if they have, if the government has decided X rupees for each human being, each farmer, let us take some of those bureaucrats out of their air condition office and give them that money and tell them go live. And whether they can and what are they going to do about their next generation is the best way to find out. It's an empirical approach, but there will be a conclusion at the end of it. To get that guy out of his, you know, uh, uh, area of comfort, he's the guy who's calculated all this, right? Come to 10,000 or 10 lakh rupees. Tell him, go buddy, show, it. show us.